sports is storytelling. Those highs and lows are so intense. It's just like nothing else. Ryan Reynolds has been trending across social media in Canada today after rumors that he's looking to buy the Ottawa Senators should the team go up for sale. We're joined by sports management professor Michael Narain to discuss the business behind celebrity sports ownership. Michael Reynolds already has experience owning a sports team. Would this be a good business deal for the Sens and how should fans be feeling about this? Yeah, I, you know, I think fans should be excited and certainly we want to temper that expectation a little bit. There's you know, negotiations and, and, and sales of professional sport franchises, especially professional men's sport franchises, are quite tedious and, and extensive. Um, but, you know, when, whenever there is an opportunity for a celebrity owner in sports, someone who's high profile with deep pockets, that's always good news to fans. Now, in the particular case of the Ottawa Senators and Ryan Reynolds, what makes this really intriguing is because of not just uh, Mr. Reynolds is, uh, you know, critical uh, acclaim and fame, but because of the amazing work he's done to advance brands, especially in sports. So if we look at the non-sport context, you know, Ryan's done some great work with, with Aviation Gin and Mint Mobile uh, on, on the non-sport side, and then on the sports side with Wrexham FC in Europe, and the ability to turn a, a professional sport franchise into a content creation, um, a machine. And what we've seen with Wrexham FC, which I believe is on Amazon Prime, is now people around the world becoming fans of a team that no one really outside of that small geographic region knew. And so, you know, the, the success of Wrexham FC, the sort of wit and humor and celebrity that Ryan brings to the table, there's the potential to make the Ottawa Senators brand not just a 416, for Highway 417 brand uh, and, and, you know, sort of the National Capital Region brand, but truly a global brand. And that is really intriguing if you're a Sens fan. A celebrity owning a sports team is essentially a huge endorsement of that team. Are teams looking for these types of business deals to increase their franchise's valuation? So fundamentally, it's about finding the best price. Uh, you know, if we look at the Ottawa Senators or whether the Washington Commanders or even, you know, the WNBA is looking to, uh, you know, expand to, you know, to, to two more markets, whether that's Toronto and Oakland or, or other parts unknown. Ultimately, you want to get the best price that you can. The owners at the, we'll say the top, the Toronto Maple Leafs, the New York Rangers, the LA Kings, they're going to want the Ottawa Senators to be sold for a decent amount because that money um, then you know could increase the franchise valuations of their own sport pro uh, sport entities, right? So you want to make sure that the house on the street that is a little bit dilapidated still goes for a good price because my house you know could potentially go up in value. It's the ability to leverage the franchise into other pieces, and Ryan has done a fantastic job of doing this in the past. He's got a great track track record of this because he knows how to turn assets into content creation machines. And so owning a team like the Ottawa Senators would create the context for him to develop more content on Amazon Prime, on a you know Netflix, et cetera, et cetera. And that again is very intriguing if you're a fan of the Senators or for those around the world who don't yet know about the NHL and the Ottawa Senators specifically, Telling those stories is going to resonate with those communities because it's going to be on their favorite streaming platform. I'm sure it will bring a whole lot of hype to the Sens if this does happen. Thank you so much, Professor Narain, for your time tonight. No, thank you so much.